is Mary Phillips. And this is Ken Townsend. And this is the Worship Cafe Inspirational Show. On WCIR Network. I'm going to start off the program with some scripture. Psalms 105, 4. Search for the Lord and for His strength. Continually seek Him. Remember the wonders He has performed. His miracles and His rulings He has given. Praise God. Um... Because God does. He's a God of miracles. He is a healing God. He's a wonderful God. Um, And we need to give Him all the glory and all the praise. Um, So excited this week to talk to Nixton Terror, who is a preacher from Kenya, Africa. Um, We talked to him last year, and we're going to catch back up with him and how things are going over there. Hi, Nixton. Hi, Mary and Ken. Hi, Nixon. And Worship <laughs> Cafe family. <laughs> oh, yes. How you doing? I'm glad to. I'm doing great, Ken. I'm happy to hear you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we're happy to hear from you, too. You just got the joy yeah. of the Lord all over you. <laughs> yes, and I'm so blessed to be part of the Worship Cafe family. I'm so blessed and I'm honored of the Lord. I thank God for you, dear brethren. And we love um, your serving the Lord as you do and starting many churches over there. And how worshipful your group is. We just love um, the worship over there as well. It's so exciting. Yes. Yeah. And I'm happy to. So would you be willing to start off the program with a prayer? Uh, come up again. Uh, will you please start off the program with a prayer for the audience? Um, So we can all pray together. All right. We're going to to pray then. Yes. Let us pray. Everlasting Father God, of all the glory in thy powerful name, Jesus, I want to thank you, Lord, for the Worship Cafe family. Thank you, Lord, for, for Mary and Ken, and all the people listening tonight, Lord. Mm-hmm. You are an awesome God. Yes, you are. And I thank you, Lord, for the salvation you've given us. Amen. The unfailing love. Yes. You attend our masses, Lord. I give you all the honor and the glory. Amen. And I place your name. Lord, in thy name, Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that you bless the listeners tonight, God. Yes, Jesus. Lord, meet with all their needs, my Father, mm-hmm. that they might be able to fulfill the purpose and the hymn that you have intended from the beginning. Lord, that they may fulfill their cause with joy. Thank you, Lord. You reach out thy hands, my Father, and bless everyone who is listening, O oh God. For I pray this in thy holy name, Jesus. Amen. 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 So I love your story of how you became a preacher and how God brought you into the ministry um, and how you were saved and all. Can you please share about that as we start? Oh, yes. <clears throat> it all began uh, many years ago that the Lord called me to minister and to be a preacher Mm -hmm. that stands for the truth Amen. that preaches a soul saving gospel Mm -hmm. that is the way back in 1995 whereby we began the ministry over here in Kenya wow we began in the most remote places Mm mm-hmm uh, where people did not know about God. And we had to, we were moving from one house to the other, mm-hmm. fellowshipping and, and preaching to them and letting them to know about Jesus. Yes. And, and, and by the grace of the Lord, the, the ministry grew up. God manifesting his power with great signs, wonders, and miracles. Mm-hmm. And people believe the word of God. And since then, uh, up to date, Mary and Ken, 
we we have established uh, churches here in Kenya almost across the whole country. Wow, how many do you think? The Lord, a lot. Yeah, the Lord has been the Lord has been blessing us. Mm-hmm. We always have crusades, open air meetings on April, August, and December, mm-hmm. whereby we are having about. Uh, over 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 ten thousand people attending the crusade. Wow, that's wonderful. Uh, yes. And so they just do they and, just uh, walk uh, from everywhere to get there? Um, most of them now we, we we normally put the meetings in a place where they can all attend. Others sometimes they sacrifice walking on foot for a long distance to attend the services. Yeah. Because most of them are coming from the bush countries, and in bush countries, mm-hmm. means of transportation from there to the to, to the meetings, there are no good roads. Right. So the only means is by footing. Wow. So yeah, they can walk for a long, a long, <laughs> long, long distance. So they're really dedicated. Carrying, yeah. <laughs> carrying just maybe other other women are carrying their babies on their back with just a jar of water. Mm-hmm. Uh, others can really travel for two days to get to the meeting with just a jar of water. Wow, yeah. that's incredible! Really, when you come to think about it. Well, compared to what people do here, that's that's incredible. That's, yeah, that's really devoted. <laughs> Yeah, and, and and people for sure are thirsty for the word of God. Yeah, in Kenya, people are really thirsty for the word of God. Mm-hmm. They can sacrifice all whatever they are doing just to attend the meeting and hear the word of God and get blessed, get healed, mm-hmm. and they go home rejoicing. <laughs> yeah, you have lots of stories of that too. Um, yep. Yeah. I like to. I like the story um, of like when you were young and your salvation. Though, can you tell me that story? Oh uh, no. well, um, when I was uh, when I was born back in nineteen seventies, mm-hmm. uh, I, 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 I could really most of the time I could really sing and you know preach. I had that calling from my path. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I could always take a, 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 maybe a wood and uh, believe that it's a microphone and preaching to the audience, preaching to the people. <laughs> so, so it was something you really wanted, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And and, and it kept increasing every other time until now, until the year 1995. Mm-hmm. When, when God confirmed this to me and... Uh, that he had really chosen me to be his servant. How did he do that? And 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 and, and to reach out for souls. There was a um, a preacher who had come to preach in Africa. Mm-hmm. He had come to preach purposely in Kenya. Yes. And 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 uh, and I attended his crusade. Okay. And 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 when he was ministering. He told me that God has really, you know, God has chosen me to be his servant and to be a preacher of truth. Wow. And and and, and to save souls. Mhm. And, uh, and 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 from that time ever since he prayed for me and I got baptized in the name of the Lord for the remission of of my sins. Yeah. Then I began and then the work the work of the Lord began. <sighs> that I might really fulfill the purpose that God intended from the beginning. So he did he kind of no prophes- mother, prophesy over you, or let's say, yeah, he- yeah, yeah, he did that. He prophesied over me. There is so many souls, so many people mm-hmm. that they needed salvation, and and they will only get through the preaching of the gospel through me. He told me that his souls are thirsty and they need the word of God. Beautiful. And he said thus, and he said, therefore the Lord has anointed you to be the preacher. As and I said, okay. And I said, thank you, Lord, because he fulfilled that which hmm. it was in my heart ever since I was born. Wow. So when you were young, yeah. God told you this as well. 
Yeah, and I could always see dreams preaching when I was young. Wow. How young was that? Yeah. <laughs> At the age of 10. Mm-hmm. Wow. So this, yeah. this calling has followed you for a while, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's a great and it's a powerful calling from God. Were you, Despite were you, all the challenges in life and, uh, and, and all other things, you know, the gospel is a life of sacrifice. Amen. You lay down, you lay down your life for, for your dear brethren. You lay down your life for others to be saved. Yes. Yeah, yeah and mm. you and that's definitely apparent in in uh Yeah. If you remember when Jesus was crucified, mm-hmm. it is not the nails that hold him on the cross. It is the love that God had towards us the mankind. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. He chose that. He chose and, that path for us. That's beautiful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to play a song here for um, a break. This this song is called "You Lead," and it's by Jamie Grace, and it's basically yeah. a song about you know God leading us wherever we're at, wherever we're at in our life and our purpose in our life. So let's listen to that song. All right. Got waves that are tossing me, crashing all over my beliefs. And in all sincerity, Lord, I wanna be yours. Mm-hmm. So pull me out of this mess I'm in, cause I know I'm wondering. Leave my soul back home again, I've always been yours. And this world may push, may pull, but your love never fails. You need a follow. But as a girl, I made my choice. There is no other way for me. I'm devoted to you. Oh, you're my peace on the heavy days. You're the one that the Lord embraces. Your love carries me away, and it's never too soon. No, and this world may push me.
Amen. I love that song. Amen. <laughs> What'd you think of that, so, Nixon? Yeah, yeah, it's amazing, brother. It's really, it's, it has really blessed my soul. Yeah, because God has been leading you on and on and on and on. And yeah, he's been absolutely. starting churches all over Africa. And you've been walking yeah. to them, too. <laughs> <laughs> Or do, you, or, or do you drive now? <laughs> Come up again again. Or do you drive? Do you, you mainly walk. You used to walk walk there to every church, right? That you were going to. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm fascinated yes. with this whole process. Um, I love talking to you last time about how you you just. Just like this song, in a way, God would lead you and you would just follow and you'd go to a town and you'd walk there and you'd go and look for people and minister to people to start churches. And you'd find more ministers and you'd find more people and plant more churches. So, um, yeah, let's talk about this, what that's like for you. (laughs) Uh, That's amazing. You've just placed my heart with that great song. Oh, Oh my! I thank God for that. That's that's wonderful. Yeah. Well, that's how he. That's how he. He, he was. It really puts tears in my heart. And, yeah. Well, it really spoke to yeah. me about you. It's, it's nice. It's yeah. It's nice having God and. <laughs> mhm. Yeah, and mm-hmm. and how much it's he just he God. just yeah it is it's all for his glory isn't it? Yeah, that's true, Mary. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, and we, we we have planted two churches in in our neighboring country, Tanzania, mm-hmm. and we have lots of people there too that have believed the word of God. Amen. Because yeah. uh, Jesus commanded us that this gospel must be preached all over the world before the end comes. Yes, he and did. I'm, yep, and I'm ready to go wherever he wants me to go. <laughs> You're gonna follow him, <laughs> and you do. And, and do you have a Walkman at least when you when you walk? You know. <laughs> do you listen to music when you're going to these different churches? Oh yeah, because <laughs> you're because you're going on by foot. So, so, <laughs> sometimes even God put songs in my heart, and I began singing it, and you know, it pleases the people, and it really pleases my soul too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you're a walking yeah. Walkman. <laughs> You're like a walking yeah, most iPhone. Of the times, yeah, yeah, most of the time, Ken, we, we, we walk on foot here. Mm-hmm. When you, yeah, when you're going to minister, maybe in a remote area where there is no, there is no commuter, you cannot get a public transport, mm-hmm. and, and and roads are, you know, the roads are impassable. You cannot go through them. You 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 have just to look for a shortcut. Yes, you walk on foot. <laughs> yeah. you, can, you, you can see you can meet with the elephants on the way and uh, so sometimes they give you way because they know you're going to minister the gospel so they give you way <laughs> oh that's nice that's nice <laughs> yeah <laughs> you, I have to admit Nixon you are the most joyful jolly jolly person I've ever met like, we when, love that the whenever, joy of the Lord is all over you whenever I see you on uh, Skype you just have this big wonderful <laughs> smile I have to say I love that and you're just <laughs> such a servant too we love that yeah, yeah you, you listen very that. well we were so yeah. excited last time when we were able to get the Bibles for all those people um, who would yeah. start the new church for yeah we we haven't stopped thanking God for that, Mary and Ken. Mm-hmm. You really did, you know. God used God really used you to to really, you know, uh, help us get those Bibles, and it is the work of God. That is why God put us together for a purpose. I believe so. Absolutely, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, and- we might be far from each other, but you know, you did a commendable job, and I thank God. My heart rejoices in the Lord for that. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. We you've been telling us some stories of some people that have had um, healing in their life, and you know the power of the name of Jesus. There's such power in you, that. Yes, yes, yes. Mary and Ken, uh, God has been really doing. You know, when God wants to confirm His word, He does. You know, miracles like. 
uh, in the Acts of the Apostles, that is Acts and chapter 8, you begin from verse 5. Mm-hmm. Talks about Philip went down to the city of Samaria to preach Christ to them. Mm-hmm. And and when they believed, you know, Philip's preaching concerning the things of the kingdom of God, and by God confirming his word through great signs, wonders, and miracle, miracles, people believed. Amen. Yeah, because they were, most of them was delivered from the powers of darkness, from a lot of things, sickness and diseases. Yes. Yeah. And and they were freed from that. They rejoiced, you know. When you've been in prison for a long time and all of a sudden you are freed from that prison, there's nothing that will hold you from rejoicing. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, and the word of God says that then the whole city was full of joy. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> because they received the word of God and the healing. And the healing that just pours from the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes, because there is power in the name of Jesus. Jesus said in Luke and chapter 10, verse 19, mm-hmm. said, I've given you power over all the power of the enemy. And he really has. And you yeah, were- and as a Christian, and as a Christian, you know, as a preacher, you believe in what you're preaching. You don't just preach empty words. You believe in every word you preach. Yeah. That, that every word that God gives you is a powerful word. Yeah. Word there was a heaven. woman who gave... Yeah, there was a woman uh, who gave birth to uh, a boy who was lame from birth. His his name is Enoch. Mm-hmm. And 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 the Lord healed him when he was uh, he was five years of age. That he was brought to the church where uh, ministering at Kericho. Mm-hmm. And, and 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 the word of God was so powerful, and the presence of the Lord was with us. Mm-hmm. And by the laying on of my hands to that boy, oh my, God healed him instantly. Yeah. Through the name of Jesus, he was healed, and and he began walking. Wow! Well, and, and 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 that also added other more souls to the kingdom of God. And people really saw that Jesus is here. Yeah. And that's what worship does. It brings us, you know, it brings us to a place where we're surrendering to him, our hearts and everything. Yes. Um, And you were telling me of another story that just happened recently with some healing also. Um, Oh, oh yes. Uh, At Foten and Way, we had planted a new church. Mm-hmm. There was a man who believed the word of God and he was so sick and uh, he had cancer oh. on one of his foot. Mm-hmm. And 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 and, and uh, he was to be amputated yeah. or his leg was to be cut off. But through the name of Jesus and the power in this name, yes. this man, God healed him. Amen. Yeah. And 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 he and and he is a happy man. Yeah. He's rejoicing greatly and thanking God with a lot of tears, and you know he's really happy and he's full of joy. Oh my, <laughs> full of joy unspeakable. I, Definitely can yeah. joy unspeakable. I cannot imagine. You know, I mean, just cause yeah. to know that. I mean, you said he was supposed to have his uh, leg yeah. amputated in order to heal and yeah. they were able to heal him so he still has his leg and everything um, yeah <laughs> the joy that he must be feeling is something quite imaginable, <laughs> unimaginable <laughs> well I'm sure you've yeah. I'm sure you've seen and experienced a lot of a lot of things huh out there yep yeah Um, I'm going to play a song called There is Power and it's by Lincoln Brewster and it's about power in the name of Jesus Wow Where two or more are gathered in his name he is there oh, for all who come who run to him in faith he is there there is power in the name of Jesus there is power power in his name there is power in the name 
praise God. Amen. So what did you think of that one? <laughs> did you wow, like it? There's power. There's power in the name of Jesus, Ken. Yeah. <laughs> I like the beginning. What a powerful, what a powerful name. What a glorious name. That's right. Name above all names. What? Yes. Yes. I like the beginning of that song where two or more are gathered in my name. It shall be done. I mean, we need to, we need to, we need to really believe that. Like when we're praying. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, yes. We're praying for one another. There's power in the name of Jesus. And God, He wants, He wants us to come together to pray for others and to pray for ministries and to support each other. It's just a powerful thing. Amen. That's very true, Mary. Yes. That's oh. true. So, um, what are some of your favorite scriptures? What inspires you at this time right now? Yeah. Um, the scripture that really inspires me right now is in the Gospel of John in chapter 10, whereby Jesus said, mm-hmm. He is the door yes. to the sheepfold. Yes. That he will so have a climb up some other way is a thief and a robber because he cannot go through the door, which is Jesus Christ. Yeah. So every every Christian, every believer of the Word of God must go in through the door. Preach it. Amen. Yes, which, which is Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because um, he is the only door. He said, and uh, and and the uh, and the sheep. You know, knows the voice of the shepherd, and they will follow. Mm. No stranger. <laughs> that really inspired me a lot. Yeah, I love that vision. There's two beautiful visions there. The one of the Jesus knocking on the door of our heart. Please, you yeah, know, open up your heart. Yeah. And then the good shepherd, which, just like you said. The shepherd and the sheep know their shepherd. They know their <laughs> shepherd, you know, because we need to be yeah. led. Absolutely, Mary. Yeah, because we can stray, and we don't want to stray. We want to be led by our shepherd. We don't want to <laughs> get off path. Yeah, and he's the only shepherd that we need. Amen. The only one that, yeah. that can guide us. Yeah, he's the only one. Is the shepherd of all the shepherds. Is the preacher. Of all the preachers, the evangelists of all the evangelists, the pastor of all the pastors, you know. Amen. The prophet of all the prophets and the apostle of all the apostles. It's wonderful. So how important do you think it is to spend time with God um, to get to that place? I mean, isn't it kind of a daily thing in order to be able to preach to people this way and keep on going? <clears throat> Yeah, you know, really, Mary and Ken, that really needs a, a, a lot of, you know, dedication, and you need that needs a lot of time for a preacher to be with God, to yeah. to hear from God before mm-hmm. he he ministers to the people. And a lot of focus. Yeah. Yeah, because you, it, it really needs a time of separation. You separate yourself from the congregation. You go up the mountain to pray and seek the face of the Lord. Mm. Just like how Jesus used to do, he could go up the mountain the whole night and tomorrow morning people could come and hear the word of God. Yes. Yeah, yeah so it, it, it really needs a uh, 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 time to, to separate yourself, time to, you lay down your life, you, you, you see, for God to use you. And also to really separate yourself, to really separate yourself it, from yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 You separate yourself from yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that's well, a concept and from, a half right well, there. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, really... that's, that's, yeah, that's that is a technical part of it, Ken. Yeah, we get it. You know, separating yourself from from the innermost man who always wants you to, you know, to work for him, to serve him. Say, you know, I don't have this, I don't have that. You don't have a good home. Blah blah blah. A lot of things, you know. Mm-hmm. You or tell you, him or, all is well. You, yeah, you tell him all is well, Mister. All is well. Mm-hmm. Or you want pizza and you can't get it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have a question for you. What's your favorite food over there in Africa? Since we're talking about Africa <laughs> and food, yeah. what, it, what what do you like to eat over there? All right, over here in Africa, people love. Oh, we rather 
eat mostly ugali. What is ugali? Ugali. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> is that like a, is that like a burger? Is made, yeah, ugali is made up of uh, maize flour. Okay. Yeah, maize flour, and, and uh, you boil the water until it bubbles up. Mm-hmm. Then you, 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 you put the flour. Mm-hmm. And then you stir it up, you stir it up until it knit together. Mm-hmm. And then you let it you let it stay for some time. So is it like a bread? Yeah, yeah. Is it <laughs> More a th- or less like a bread? Is it the thin bread or it is a fluffy bread? <laughs> How would you describe I, that? I believe Mary and Ken, when you come to Africa, I will, I will let you know what <laughs> what, what to call it is. <laughs> is it like is it like like a high bread or is it like a flat bread? Uh, it's like a, a flat bread. A flat bread. That's what it sounded like. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so you want us to and, come and, and visit and, you and in they Africa? Normally, and, they, and they normally eat with kills. Okay, mm. what, what's that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> These are, uh, uh, okay, vegetables like, like spinach, like uh, we have, we call okay. it in Africa. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spinach, yeah, we, yeah. We, we, <laughs> we call it skumawiki. Skumawiki. That's <laughs> yeah, a cool yeah, name. Push, I like yeah, that. It's just yeah. You, 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 you just use it to push the wig until <laughs> 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 you push a wig until you maybe you earn something to buy. Maybe uh, uh, you buy something beef or, or something that can really mm-hmm. you know. Make you feel good. So it says, Kuma Wiki, you just bush the week. You, 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 you eat it by, you know, say, let me just bush this week. Uh-huh. Maybe next, th- yeah, next week things will be better. <laughs> because man cannot live by bread alone. He needs Kula Wiki. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. By, yeah <laughs> but by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. That's right. And yeah. Kula Wiki. <laughs> <laughs> not bread alone. Not school, we, I mean, my school a wiki. <laughs> so, and, and you got some. And I, I, I'm praying. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really praying that someday you will pay a visit to us over here in Africa. Oh wow! Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. Uh, so you must have yeah. some stories about animals too, huh? Yeah, yeah. I was, in fact, I was telling my brother Paul Sheldon about the, you know, animals like lion, like giraffe, like leopard, like buffalo. Uh huh. They're in your backyard right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in <your> backyard. Yeah. <laughs> They're in your backyard. That, uh, For real? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I believe when you come, I will have to take you around the the, the camp park at Masai Mara. Do you have any pets? Yeah, yeah, we have animal box, you know. I'll take you around, you see, you, you can see them live, live. You can see a lion chasing uh, uh, another animal for food, for meat, you know. Not me, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, Mary, Mary likes cheetahs. Uh, I like, yeah, they're, oh. they're pretty. They're very pretty. Do you have cheetahs over there? They're, they're yeah, like the, we do. They're small cats, so hopefully yeah. they aren't as... I don't know. I mean, lions are cool too. Too, I really like lions. Yeah, yeah man. they're there. You know, a lot. We have a lot. A lot. We have flamingos. We have. <gasps> Those uh, are my favorite. I love flamingos because they're pink. Oh, you love flamingos? <laughs> <laughs> are they, have, they have multiple colors or just pink ones? Yeah, yeah, they're very beautiful birds. They are, aren't they? So mysterious. Yeah. yeah. And they yeah, like to put their yeah. one leg up and like look at you sideways. It's and like, look at you funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are showing up there. They can really do all things through Christ to strengthen them, you know. Yeah. We can do all things through Christ to strengthen us. Yeah, that, that, that's great. Yeah. That's a great metaphor for a flamingo. <laughs> yeah. well, they got lines there, and that's symbolic of, 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 of Jesus. Um, Africa is a beautiful, it's a beautiful country. Do they have uh-huh. lambs over there? What? Like lions and lambs. Oh, he said they have lambs. Yeah, yep, yeah, sheep. Lambs are of course they have sheep. He was, oh. he was telling us about sheep. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the giraffes are beautiful, too. You were talking about them. Yeah. Um, They're like so and, tall. Uh, we don't, we, 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 there are no snow in Africa. Oh, wow. That's cool. Uh-huh. Where you're uh, at? It's only... 
yeah, where I'm at, there is no. It, it's a yeah, it's a, a tea country. Okay. Yeah, it, there are a lot of tea plantation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they just convert it into 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 tea leaves. Wow, how hot is it? Does it get hot oh. like every day? Like, does it home? snow there? He said there's no snow. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> How hot is it? <laughs> they, they, they really planted in large scale farm farms, and 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 people are picking up every day. What two the? leaves in the bar? Yeah. Uh, the farms. I'll make sure. I'll make sure. I'll take a photo of it and uh, I post it in Worship Cafe. Oh, cool! So that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. They take take a picture of some of your pets in the back, like your zebras and. <laughs> yeah, show us some of them zebras. <laughs> And oh, some yeah. giraffes too. Giraffes. <laughs> I, I will. You I got will. an orangutan in the back, you know. Yeah, something. you're telling us that how they get involved in your sometimes yeah. in your baptisms and stuff, right? Well, the monkeys. Yeah. The monkeys and <laughs> the monkeys. Yeah, a lot. We have a lot of them. Yeah, and they want they to be baptized very friendly, too. and they love uh, they love bananas. Uh-huh. They love bananas. Oh, that's yeah, not a rumor. That's bananas. true. <laughs> <laughs> they're coming know, along with their babies on their on their backs because they want they want bananas. <laughs> you must have a fun time you, over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, yeah. if you if, if it happens that God opened a door for you guys, I'm telling you, you will enjoy being in Africa. That would be really cool. <laughs> yeah, it would be. Just as long as we don't get yeah. eaten by lions or anything. <laughs> <laughs> but that, but it sounds like you got some interesting food. Yeah. And, um, they have flatbread and they have kale. <laughs> because you know, in the Masai Mara um, National uh, uh, Kemba Reserve, you know, you are not allowed to walk on foot. You you will just be in the car. Okay. No. Yeah, because if you walk out of the gun, then you're gonna meet with a lion. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to meet a lion. Yeah, and it's it going to be a meal for that day. So, <laughs> so um, you'll just be watching from the car. Now, so, I have a question for you. Do you guys eat much protein over there? Do you eat lions? Meat? No. No, they don't eat lions. Oh. No. But what yeah. what kind of meat do you guys eat? Because I think they're... Okay. Um, mostly... Uh, Goat meat and 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 and, and beef from 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 the gadru. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So beef and 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 and, and, and chicken. You know, and chicken. Love chicken. We too. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Do you have Do you have Burger Kings there? <laughs> McDonald's? Anything like that would be good for me. A pizza? You mean pizza? <laughs> yeah, oh. they do have pizza. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe in the big hotels, not in these small, small hotels over here. Big, oh. big, big restaurants. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. In the bigger cities. There's no McDonald's yeah. that can. Oh, sure. But, uh, but also we have. <laughs> what about Taco you, Bell? No. Do you guys eat Mexican food there? <laughs> you, can, you will not miss that in, in Caricho. When you come, you will not miss it. You'll yeah. probably be a lot healthier, too. It sounds like everything's more just simple, yeah. clean foods. And you walk a lot. Yeah, so you'd be real healthy. Yeah. So would you would you take Mary and I to like? Would you walk us to a um, a new church or a new village you're you're gonna plant? That would be um, fun. That would be fun. Oh, oh, when are your new? When are your? What's your newest church right now that you guys just planted? Where? What city is it in? Oh, okay. Uh, we're in Carrito. Carrito. Yeah, mm-hmm. Carrito. Is uh, is the city that I'm in now? Uh, we uh, I have a church that I'm ministering in here, mm-hmm. and we have other churches like in our capital city Nairobi. Okay. Yeah, uh, that is in uh, Nairobi province, when and we have others in Rift Valley province, mm-hmm. in the western part of Kenya. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, so you, so there's like. And, Okay. Yeah, and also and also in the Maasai villages. Yeah. Maasai is a believe the word and we have churches over there too. Wow. <laughs> and we have the preachers who are ministering over there. We we always come up together to team up our efforts when we are having, uh, you know, planning for big crusades because it really needs a lot of finance and uh 
one man cannot do it so we are coming up together mm -hmm. for a teamwork we we work on financing the the crusade that uh, the meeting the services and that's for the big crusades so, when you guys all get together yeah. so do you have any yeah. i haven't really seen lately but do you have any videos of all those big crusades new ones and when's the newest one coming up yeah, uh, we have one this coming uh, on all oh, this August the twenty from twenty third, twenty fourth, and twenty fifth. Okay, that's exciting. Yeah, we going. Yeah, we going to have it at a place called Keringet in Nakuru County. And what do you guys need to prepare for that? Um, you know, um, like now. Yeah. Uh, it's 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 now a prayer because we're going to reach out to souls over there mm -hmm. and uh mostly we are praying because since we don't uh, we don't really have enough tents for to cover up or for all people to shed in so we we always believe God that he holds up the rain mm, yeah <laughs> yeah because mostly we are just having it because ten thousand people needs uh needs a lot of tents. Yeah. yeah, I would say so. Need yeah. a couple of them anyway. Yeah. And yeah. Um, so how many preachers will preach during this time? Uh, we, 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 we only have, um, we, we have one preacher preaching from, from, from Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. The same one? Yeah. Wow. Is that you? We, we always... Uh, and no, I'm not going to minister this time around. There's another brother who is going to minister. Oh. Wow. Uh, most probably I'll be preaching in December. And uh, last week, part one, I was preaching at Maseno for, for, for three good consecutive days. That's good. Yeah, that's a yeah. long time to do it. Do you always do it three yeah. days? <laughs> yeah, it's, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, three days and you can preach for three, four hours, maybe, and can. And then after that, like, does it worship before that or after that? Yeah, services begin at worship, you know, people singing to God. And then after that, a preacher comes in, preach the word of God. And after the word of God, uh, people again sing and praise the Lord. And if there be who, people who are sick, they are prayed for, healed. Mm -hmm. Then thereafter, we release them maybe to go and look for a place to spend the night and then come up again tomorrow. Amen. So it doesn't go around the clock 24 um Three. No. Yeah. It doesn't go twenty four seven. So they actually get a. They do get a break. They get to sleep at night. Yes. Okay. That's good. Yeah. They gotta and they gotta go and, eat some bread. Yeah. <laughs> and watch for the lions and tigers and stuff. And have some kale. <laughs> they are just they are in 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 the camp parks in the camp reserves. Mm hmm. Yeah, so they are quite far from where we, we normally hold the services. Um, mm. Do they do baptism at that time too? Or is it just... Yeah. Pop yeah? But then, yeah, we, 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 if there are people who have believed and want to be baptized, you know, we take them down to the river. That's great. Yeah, I've seen a yeah, lot. Yeah, and lot I believe I'll be, yeah, I'll be posting a lot about that. I will be really putting up into the worship cafe for people to see what's going on in Africa and... That's awesome. The walks of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah, I love your videos with everybody like worshiping, worshiping and dancing. It just it's just inspire it's, it's uplifting. inspirational, really. Yeah, it's uplifting to see people so passionate like that and uh Yeah, cuz they really are. I mean, it's not just like okay, it's like actual like passionate. <laughs> it's very very uh, very vibrant. Yeah. Inspiring. People here love singing to God with a lot of jumping and you know, praising him because of what God has done to them. Mhm. Mm yeah, and they're not afraid. There is nothing that can. Yeah, there's nothing that can hold their feet down. They are always jumping up. <laughs> yeah, I agree <laughs> with whenever you. Whenever you think of how, yeah, whenever you think of how God saved you, you feel like flying. I'm telling you. <laughs> That's wonderful. So I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna play a song now. This is a song um, from um, Ken and I our, our CD. It's called "Purify Me, Lord," and it's really. A song of surrendering your heart to God and, and about how God can heal you wherever you're at in your life um, and purify your heart. So let's listen to this song.
built on your holy word, Jehovah God, I pray. Jesus, holy Jesus, I'm laying at your feet. Just one moment with my Savior makes me strong. Praise the Lord. Yeah. That was beautiful. Yeah. Well, it's all for wow. his glory. It's yeah. all for his glory. Wow. That's an amazing song. Thank you. That's just yes. create in me a, a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit with right in with right within me. You know, it's just where we need to be at. Um, Amen. In order to reach other people, we have to keep our heart there. Yeah, it's a. Uh, and we have to keep Surprise. ourselves selves away from ourselves too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much uh, for sharing all this I stuff. Thank God. I thank God you really blessed my soul by playing that song. I got so blessed. Oh, we yeah. love you. We really do. We love fellowship with you. We really yeah, do. We, we yeah. love you. Like I said, you're you are uh, you have an amazing smile and an amazing personality and. Yeah, God uh, knew what He was doing when He chose you to reach other people because you have that you have that spark, you know, that joy of the Lord that people need to see. That's real. Um, yeah, and yeah. you don't, you, you know, I I can see the sincerity in, in your heart, and it's just such a beautiful thing. So I'm so excited Man. to talk to you this year and see how, you know, God is still moving you forward more and more and reaching more and more people. Um, Amen. Amen. Yeah, maybe we visit yeah, you, you in, in Africa. Yeah, you keep <laughs> you keep praying for us. We are working on a registration uh, certificate of the churches at Tanzania. Okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we need we need more prayers for that. Absolutely, we will be praying yeah, we, for you. We will have the yeah, we, worship cafe praying yeah. for you. Yeah. Please share that in the forum. Please share that. You know that you have a, a great mission coming up. You're coming up to this mission, and you're out there. You're trying to reach people. Please share that. Please but share that you need prayer. Please, sh- I will. please show I will. them what you've done. That we we would love that. I will. Uh, yeah, I will for sure. And let the Holy Spirit just fall in that area. You know Amen. the power of God. The power of God. Let it just fall. There is power in the name of Jesus. Let it fall. To Kenya. Let's amen. let it fall there. <laughs> oh, yeah, amen. <laughs> amen. 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 I really thank God for you. I really, you know, I cannot stop thanking God for for the Worship Cafe and for you, Mary and Ken, you know. You've yeah. been a great blessing to my heart. And you as well. Yep. And, 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 and all you the Worship well. Cafe team. Yeah, they've. Oh, I thank God, and uh, I truly thank God again for 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 my dear brother Paul Sheldon. You know, oh, he's, he's great. been a great blessing. Yeah, 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 we've been walking hand in hand together to see things move. 
God definitely brought you guys together as brothers in Christ. I know that, and I'm so glad that you guys came together in our forum. Yeah, I thank God because uh, recently there is a brother whom we we were together fellowshipping in the church, and he, he passed away. His wife has really passed away six years ago, mm-hmm. and 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 they left, you know, six children, eh? orphans. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I, uh, I I pray them to to stay with us over here. Say that I you know I provide for them the necessary yeah. needs, what what they really need, and to see that they get you know good education. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and I remember, I, I remember talking to Paul about this. He sent supplies and stuff over there from his church. I was so so happy to hear that he did that. Yeah. Amen. Um, yeah, we we could not we could not really you know we could not really leave them to suffer and no. uh, and 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 we say that we are Christians you know right right being yeah. being yeah being a Christ like you need to show sympathy to people you know you need to love they need love they need to be loved they need to be cared for mm-hmm. and that is the responsibility which God gave to us mm-hmm. and He puts on yeah our as the preachers of the gospel we we really have to do that and see that they really you know, get all the the moral support they need. Well, I just want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart yeah. for being a guest. Um, we're going to need to be closing yeah. the program, but you have blessed my heart as always. And Me too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> very much. You've blessed me too, Mary and Ken, and I'm so blessed of you. And so from the Worship Cafe, this is Mary Phillips. And Ken Townsend. And we want to thank you for listening this week to Nixon Terror, who is a preacher from Kenya, Africa. And his story has just touched my heart. I hope and pray that it has touched yours as well. May you all have a blessed week. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, too.